Hi, my name is Dr. Ian Katz from Sutton Sun Healthcare, and I thought I'd just remind you how to prescribe Effidex using best practice and a few of the tips about using Effidex that I uh, recommend. Um, this is me as a patient. Usually I use uh, this tab up here to uh, do a new prescription, new Rx. You search for Effidex here, choose that there, 5% cream. Uh, obviously, we use Effidex twice a day to affected areas. You can uh, obviously say to forehead. Sorry, time is not that good. To forehead for three weeks. Now, three weeks is fairly standard for using Effidex, but I actually make sure that I always tell all patients that they must come back and see me in two weeks um, for using Effidex. So I always need to see patients after two weeks. And then I usually tell them after two weeks where they need to use it again for the last week, depending on the severity of the reaction. Obviously, if it's a very severe reaction, I tell them not to use it for the last week. If there's not such so severe, if the, if the reaction is mild, then I tell them to use it for the third week. Um, just remember that uh, you try not to use Effidex in summer. I try to use Effidex in winter. And the other thing I found is that I try to use Effidex on um, smaller areas than on the whole face or scalp at once. Most pa patients appreciate that. So what we do is we tell patients, try it on the left cheek, the right cheek, the forehead. You don't have to check, check them after two weeks after every area, as long as they know what's going on. So the important thing is to develop a relationship and tell patients to come back and see you if they're concerned about the Effidex so that they can, um, they can uh, so they, if there's an overreaction, you can sort it out. So the important facts are, Try not to use it in summer. Try to use it on small areas over large areas. Make sure you see the patients after two weeks if they're inexperienced in using Effidex and then uh, tell them where to, when to use it last week. So just finishing up this, you type in next. Uh, once on your prescription over there, next. And you can add a new condition, solar keratosis here. Or you may already have it in your diagnosis, solar skin damage, finish. And then using this, you print it over here. Now I always tell patients um, to uh, go to the discount pharmacy to get Effidex because it's on a non-PBS prescription. The other thing is I always give patients a little instruction book, an instruction sheet with the Effidex. So please remember to give the patient that as well. There should be no issues with patients uh, using Effidex if you follow these simple steps. Thank you.